Now the government pathologist Dr. Peter Ndegwa today at Kenyatta University funeral home conducted an autopsy on the bodies of the deceased student who perished in a tragic road accident at Maungu. The university has also announced that the body viewing will be done tomorrow even as survivors of the accident were welcomed back to the institution as Theo Masharia now reports. At the Kenyatta University Funeral Home today, government pathologist Dr. Peter Ndegwa conducted an autopsy on the bodies of students who died in the tragic Maungo accident as the university announced viewing of the bodies to be done tomorrow at the funeral home from 3 p.m. And at least 28 of the students who sustained minor injuries from the Grizzly Road accident at Maongo that left 11 Kenyatta University students dead were transported to Nairobi through the SGR train service and back to college where candle lighting vigils and masses are being held in honor of the departed souls. <music> Higher Education and Research Principal Secretary Beatrice Nyangala led officials from the ministry to Avenue Hospital in Parklands to visit and comfort those admitted at the facility. Boniface Ododa, the student secretary general, who stated that the crash claimed the lives of four female students and seven male colleagues, appealed to the government to address the state of roads in the country, which he said was to blame for most of the fatal accidents. Unfortunately, we've lost 11 comrades, uh, four ladies and um, seven gentlemen. And uh, we urge uh, the whole nation to put us in prayers. And um, as I finish on the same, I'd like to encourage the government of Kenya to ensure that there is safety in the roads, to mend the roads that have not been constructed well. The roads condition is very poor. It is too slim that two vehicles cannot overtake each other. And at the same time, road safety lobbies are calling out the NTSA for the rising road carnage and want Transport Cabinet Secretary Kipchumba Murkomen to resign. Road Safety Association of Kenya Chairman David Kerrie and his counterpart of Speed Governors and Road Safety Association Edward Gitonga stated that the solution to road carnage lies in enforcement of speed limiting rules for all PSVs including school buses and trucks. And we must now come to terms that the speed of the vehicles must be limited, especially the PSV vehicles. That the lorry was not speeding, actually it was 32 because it was loaded. It is still the bus was on the long lane trying to overtake. Therefore, we got to take extra care, especially with the, with the drivers that are doing passenger vehicles. John Mutisia, the Secretary General of Road Safety, says the best solution to reduce road carnage is taking all trucks for inspection. Jambo ambalo linastahili kufanywa sasa ni magari yote ya shule, marori, gari zote za tua, zote zi yakikishwe zimepewa three months ziwe zimerudi inspection. Izi gari zetu wazi jaenda inspection kwa miaka mine sasa. Imekuwa ni elfu sita na gari zinapita. The state and the university continues to offer comprehensive psychosocial care and counseling services to the students who still remain traumatized. Theo Masharia for KUTV News.